Hey guys, SnackJXJ here, playing Super Luigi Galaxy with my new capture card. I am now using the Dazzle. In, it's more of an experiment. I'm not sure if you guys are going to notice any skipping in the capture card itself. Like, just, it's not going to look completely clear or not. But I think, personally, the quality looks a little bit better. Like, I'm noticing right now, as I'm starting to record, that the capture card itself is skipping a little bit, but it's not enough to really mess with me all that much. So right now this is just more of an experiment. We have mail, so that's nice. It's a letter from Princess Peach. It's to Mario. It's very sad, but just j to make up for it, Luigi gets 21 up mushrooms. So yeah, this is a little bit this is a little bit different. It is lagging just a little bit and my cat and my sensor bar is being kind of silly. I'm not sure why, but I'm not going to ask questions. Is at this point it is lagging quite a bit <laughs> and yet when I was experimenting recording with this a while ago it's it really wasn't but I can't entirely explain why my sensor bar is being silly right now but at this point it doesn't really bother me and I'm just gonna increase my volume a little bit and we're gonna get to business I'm not I can't completely remember where we were <laughs> so let's just uh, let's just go to the garage like a good friend said um, see this this is their thing this is their thing right here it's a star shroom or that's rather the name they're giving it is called the star shroom as as he has just mentioned and or explained to us we play some kind of mobile space station by Rosalina she's not a witch is she no that's ridiculous yo captain what's going on you finished building star shroom Star Shroom. We can find Power Stars. This is the Toad Brigade. We will gradually and or occasionally see them in random galaxies throughout the world, and they will be of some assistance when it comes to finding the world, which is nice, but at this point there's not much to say. So let's just go into the terrace. Because wait a minute. Oh, I forgot about him. But no, wait, I think I remember what we were doing. We were in the middle of a galaxy, actually, and I was just waiting for the thing to do a thing. Or maybe we weren't. Oh no, I wanted to do this first. That's right. What is this? It's the flip switch galaxy. It's one of those galaxies that means it's a galaxy, which is it's pretty it's pretty amazing. I understand that a galaxy could be anything like a galaxy, but let's just painting the planet yellow. Well, the the funny thing about the name of this galaxy is in a way it really doesn't fit. Because sure, while you're doing the galaxy, you're you're painting it yellow with the switches turning yellow and all but once you're once you beat it they all turn green so um i'm not entirely sure Ooh, shoot <laughs> so i'm not entirely sure what they were getting at with the level name but we're not gonna ask questions right luigi man you're not gonna you're not gonna die right off the bat are you is that that would be an issue we would all have some issues with our good friend luigi if he managed to die here now oh, oh. Now the good thing about oh right I forgot. Now the good thing about this capture card in your hand, with the occasional little bit of lag that we seem to be getting, is the fact that, well, in a way, since it is more constant, it's a lot less noticeable in a way. I mean, in recording more than anything, as you know, when I was recording before. Oh come on. <laughs> no, Luigi, you you can't you can't die now. Again, that would be, whoa, that would be an issue, and none of us would be very happy with you, and I understand that you like it when people are happy with you, but at this point in time, you're, you're, really, you're really making the world sad. I can't remember if that thing still moves. It doesn't still move, so that, that, that's, that's helpful. The background turned to the underground Mario world, except it's not the underground Mario world. It's more of the Super Mario, uh, Super Mario Brothers more look to it. But that, that doesn't matter because, you know, we nearly died. <laughs> you know, in the past, I don't know why, but that galaxy has given me some ire in the past, and I'm not entirely sure why. But this is the capture card I'm going to be using for now on. Um, I honestly have no real complaints with it because even if in recording the capture card itself is lagging just slightly, it's not enough to, you know, cause concern or cause some, hey, this sucks, I'm going to go return it. I'm going to... I hope I get my 70 bucks back, but it's more... Um, it's, it's something that we can all work around, right, Mr. The Hungry Uma Man? Right? So, Star Bits. Feed me Star Bits and I'll transform. 400. That is quite a bit. You are, you are cleaning me out, my friend. I hope you understand that we are all going to have some issues if you keep doing this. You know, because Star Bits... Th th 
they are the common currency in this in this world and it's a sweet sweet galaxy and yet you're taking all of them just to transform into a specific galaxy that I have absolutely no need for so I'm not uh, I'm, I'm not sure why you're doing this but we shall figure it out eventually sweet sweet galaxy rocky road Th this level's fun I've always found it fun it's very creative it's 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 an ice cream and cake world something you never see in a video game exactly you don't see it in a video game video game only see it in hacks occasionally for instance the Mario world you know that they're very they're very exotic and very special worlds that mean that they are special and exotic worlds am I right in saying this but of course you always have to be extremely cautious when doing this level especially since ah uh, whoa ah no sorry Luigi this is not the time for issues to be issues. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if this surprises any of you. Now, a thing that's gonna happen is since this capture card for some reason doesn't allow me to hook up through my television and my computer at the same time so I can watch my television and do this, I'm gonna be getting just a little bit of control delay. That's why my sensor bar timing is gonna be a little bit off. Not to mention the fact that my sensor bar is also uh, lagging out a little bit due to the to the recording of the capture card itself. And what's funny is I'm not even I'm not even using the capture card's built-in recorder because you know those things always suck. I'm using I'm using Camtasia right now because for some reason Fraps it's deciding not to Okay, let me get around this corner. <laughs> for some reason uh, uh, Fraps isn't allowing me to uh, to record this thing and I'm not, I'm can't be entirely sure why. But it doesn't matter. I mean, Camtasia offers some pretty decent uh, quality, um, so I, I can't complain. I'm not sure about you guys. Whoa, that could have been a problem. I almost did something stupid. I almost did something extremely stupid by ground... Why am I getting so paranoid? All right. <laughs> I don't know why I ground pounded, but it really, uh, it really almost screwed me. As you guys obviously tell, uh, could tell, <laughs> that, that scared me quite a bit. I almost had a bit of a heart attack. <laughs> uh, I was meaning to uh, spin jump, but, uh, or yeah, let's just call it spin jumping, but for some reason I ground pounded, and I, and I, and I wish I understood my logic for this, but again, we, we can't all have nice things, and we can't all have complete control of what we are saying. So does Rosalina have anything? Oh no, she doesn't. Just if you're using these worlds, you turn out here and every single time. Which is, it's very sad because then you have to make your way all the way back to the dome you're originally from. And well, we all just have issues all around. But let's go ahead and finish off the terrace, shall we? Or, well not completely finish it off, I should say. Uh, finish it off the first round through, like without all the comets and garbage. Because those are, those are going to be the fun ones, is the comets. So let's just... Let's just have fun with this level, shall we? Let's just have fun with it. Bowser Jr.'s robot reactor. It, it, they, they made a re they had a remake of this level done in Super Mario Galaxy 2, and well, it, it's it's very creative. Except the name of that level in Galaxy 2 isn't as good. Mega Legs Moon. No, the other one was called Digga Legs Planet, which obviously does not have as good a ring as Mega Legs Moon does. So, I, I don't know what they were thinking. And that actually brings up a good conversation. People saying Super Mario Galaxy 2 is not nearly as good as Galaxy 1. Like, I understand that's their own opinion. But, I honestly think Gal Galaxy 2 is much better. I just think the levels are a lot more creative. Uh, it's just longer in general. It's just more fun. My only complaint with Galaxy 2 over Galaxy 1 is the fact that they made this like this... Whoa! Buddy. Is that they made the galaxy map like this actual little map. They didn't make it nearly like this, where it would actually make sense. Whoa! Mr. Bulletman, you could be of assistance. I'm not nearly as paranoid. I'm not nearly as paranoid with Bulletman in this game as I am in Mr. the Sun, Mr. the Sunshine, Mr. <laughs> the Mario World, due to the Mr. the Vip level. Um, it actually brings up another conversation. Um, whoa! What I'm actually thinking of right now is. My no, my next let's play once I'm done with uh, Starlight Island Adventure, I'm probably gonna t continue off uh, VIP because you know I've had a few people say, "When are you gonna get back to this hack?" Um, and my original thought I was gonna originally do a Super Mario Bros. X thing, 
but considering I've gotten more recommendation to, con to continue off VIP 2 than anything, that's probably what I'll do. My freaking screensaver goes off. How It's been quite a while since that happened, and I was saying I missed a lot of my star bits because of it. <laughs> uh, thank you, world. How's it going, Bowser Jr.? You know, it might be smart to keep my mouse near me when I'm doing this. What do you, what do you guys think? Made it. Well, my dad's take care of you. Go, Mega Leg. Crush him with the power of the Grand Star. I love how he just blatantly tells me that he has it. <laughs> like, I understand that we have sensors telling us, like, the fact that there's the Grand Star here. But makes it all worthwhile when he actually confirms our suspicion. Well, that's, that's nice. How's it going, buddy? You know, when I first played this game, I was so confused. Like, they said you had to walk up this, but I was thinking that if it turned red, you couldn't walk up it anymore, but it actually just meant he was going to start moving. Um, you know, some I can do this boss quicker sometimes than I can others. Sometimes it's just a cakewalk, and other times, like, I'll, I'll try to do the cakewalk version of it, but no promises. Alright, so let, let's go, bullet men's. No, my sensor bar is being silly again. All right, come on screen. Come on screen, capture card. Or not capture card, sensor bar. Come on, you can you can do it. You can do it. There you go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. You, you you'll you'll see me doing that a lot. Ah, timed it badly. All right. Well, I guess we can just do it this way then. Come to me, my prit. Okay, maybe not. Come to me, my pretties. Come to the world! Ah, as soon as I got there. Come to me! And the world will be ours! Woo! What are you doing? Ah, what was he doing? He turned around. Well, that just uh, screwed us up, didn't it? Whoa, crap! Oh, boy. Or, fine, man. I'm trying, I'm trying to be stylish here, but I guess not. I guess Mr. The Bullet Men's are not going to be nice Bullet Men's, and they're just going to say, Hey, screw you. We're going to do it the old-fashioned way. Oh, my God. Be a friend. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, you, right there. Yarr. <laughs> he came out of nowhere. <laughs> okay, wasn't expecting that, but that's basically the stylish way of doing it, getting around the barrier without any others breaking. Not entirely sure where that other Bullet Man came from, but... Uh, not that I'm complaining in any way, because that just definitely made my life easier. But, regardless... Well, let's listen to this music. You can't have any better triumphant music than that. You just can't have it. It just can't happen, and it never will happen. I don't care. Uh, and we're going to the fountain now. I like the fountain. I think it's a it's a very creative uh, dome. I just think I just think it looks nice. Da -da -da -da. Got a chart, bitch. High score. Star bits. Galaxies. Two galaxies. So, what's what speech do we have to hear today? Ball flame weapons. Beacon of observatory. Grand star power. Comet observatory can use to fly through universes. All the powers are stored, we'll fly to the center of it and get back our quote-unquote special one. Powers in a new dome. It is called the Fountain. We all see it. We all, we all see that that is very relaxing, and it is probably the most brilliant place to be if Luigi needs to relieve a little bit of tension, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna leave it off there. Uh, this wasn't as much of a train wreck of an episode as I was kind of expecting it to be with this new capture card. It actually isn't too bad. Well, uh... Thank you guys for watching. This was Snack Chick Stray. I'll see you guys next time for more Super Luigi Galaxy when we start off Dome 2, The Fountain. See you guys then. See y'all.